شو الاخبار؟ بتمنى تكونوا بخير وكل شيء تمام معكم. بتمنى يكون عندكم جود فيكيشن، عطلة حلوة أو بيوتيفول فيكيشن، إجازة حلوة لأنه نحن هلا بأوغست وبهذا الشهر الكل يمكن بـ travel back to his country to uh, just take him spend some time with his family and his friends and so today we're going to talk about something good or something actually you needed too much uh, I was just thinking about okay if I travel to Syria to see my family so I'm going to say I'm coming uh, for your sake for my family's sake يعني for them to see them So I was thinking about all the ways that we use it in Arabic for this thing. Hala, you may hear Shan, Ashan, Kirman, La, Lahetta. All of them, I guess you heard it before. If you're living in Beirut, maybe you hear more Kirman, right? If you live in Syria or Jordan or Oman, you hear more Shan or Ashan. بس all of them it's uh, people using it لا حتى all of them but in Beirut maybe they use more كرمان okay so all of them it's uh, we need them actually you could use of course use just one okay but you need to know all of them just if you're talking with someone and use other one that you don't know it's you know it's sometimes you get lost just because you don't know. So it's good to know all of them. You could, of course, you was just one. But, so this is the one for two, or in order to. Uh, for example, اختي اشتغل تليفون عشان تحكي مع. So my sister bought a phone uh, to talk with me. عشان تحكي مع I could say كرمان تحكي مع or مشان تحكي مع or لا تحكي مع So I put all of them in different examples and I put different one for example تعوا اليوم المساء كرمان ناخد سوا So come this evening to eat together Okay كرمان ناخد سوا عم اشتغل شغلين لا أقدر عيش So I'm working two jobs to be able to live. بروح بكير على الشغل لحتى ما اتأخر. So I go early to work to don't be late. To don't be late. هلا the last one is عم ذكرك مشان ما تنسى. So I'm reminding you to don't forget. عم ذكرك مشان ما تنسى. So if Uh, as you know before, so all of them, we use all of them, and uh, if I put anyone here, anyone from them, uh, it, it, it works, it's, it's correct, but, so I, for example, if I wanted to say for my sake, I use one of them, عشان or مشان or كرمان, I can't use لا or لحتى, if I wanted to say for my sake. When do we use for my sake? Okay, for example, اختي اشتغل تليفون, let's say, عشان, for my sake. My sister bought a phone, for my sake, عشان. I cooked rice and peas, for your sake, عشان, or كرمالة, or مشانة, all of them. Why? Because, um, I say, عشان or مشان and then I connected or sorry I conjugated with uh, the person or not the correct one عشانك عشانك عشانكم كرمالك كرمالك كرمالكم uh, for example I will travel to Syria to see you or مشانك I travel to Syria مشانك for your sake to see you تمام but so we can use just مشان عشان كرمال. In this case, for your sake, we can't use لا ولا حتى. We can't. Okay? We just because we can't conjugate it. 
so now we're gonna know as well the other uses of Yushan, Washan, and Kermal. This is the three without Lao Lahatta. Lao Lahatta we can't use this in this case, uh, which is when you say for your sake, for your sake. So for example, you say Ji Ta'alnan Ashanak for your sake. You talk them with me. You put Ashan or Kermal or Mushan, either one. And then you conjugate it, it depends the personal pronoun. Jit alna ashan kun. Jit alna ashan kun. Jit alna for mistake. Jit alna ashan kun. Ashan kun. Battalt al dekhan kermala. Battalt al dekhan kermala. I quit smoking for her sake. She hates smoking. For example, my partner, she hates smoking. And I respect that, so that's why I quit smoking. So, بطلت الدخان كرمالا. The last one, طبخت برغر وبندورة مشان كون. So, I cooked برغر وبندورة. It's so tasty, guys. If you didn't taste it before, please. Yeah, it's so easy to make. شوية برغر and شوية بندورة with some onions, كمون, I guess, some olive oil, and that's it. It's not that complicated. So, طبخت برغر وبندورة مشان كون. You say you're talking with people, plural. So in this case, I can't use la or la hatta. Okay, just I can use something that I conjugate with. So, this is it was the the first part of mshan uh, washan ukerman. The second one we're gonna talk about uh, the left. We we talked already about some of them. Uh, the second session we're gonna talk about the left of it, uh, about when could we use مشان عشان كمان with something else, how could change the, the meaning. Okay, so I will see you uh, guys next session. Please, this is always saying it, if you have any question, don't hesitate, leave it in the comment and of course we can uh, يعني, uh, answer you as, as soon as we can and we're gonna be so happy to help all of you all of the Arabic learners and make them fall in love and the language. I will see you next session. Bye bye.